Hello Lopovase coming back with a new video and I will show you how to add extra hard drive to your Lenovo Y410P laptop by using Nismus Caddy Bay with a Samsung Evo A50 SSD hard drive and my apologies that I only have one hand to record a video and do everything so sometimes I will skip unnecessary part let's go now look at the back of your laptop, Lenovo already included the instruction to remove your optical drive but I'm still gonna show you how easy it is to remove the drive. First go ahead and remove your battery, then unlock this small lock. Now hold this lock while it slide your drive out. Don't be afraid to use some force if you feel it hard to pull out. After removing the optical drive, please be careful with the black claw because later on we will need to put it on our caddy bay so that we can secure the bay. Now open the caddy bay's nismus. Um, we can see that we have a bay and one screwdriver. Ignore that screw. We will use it later, not now. Now back to our optical drive, you will need to remove 4 screws that attach to the claw. So this is what it looks like after you finish removing. Now back to our caddy bay, go ahead and remove the retaining latch. Then go ahead and remove the four screws on both sides of the bay. The four screws will later be used to fix the SSD, but now you just go ahead and slide the SSD card into the bay. Now go ahead and put your retaining latch back to your bay. Then use these four screws to secure your SSD. The next step will be put the black claw that you got from your optical drive to the caddy bay. Put the claw in this position, then screw it. So there you have it, it's nice and steady. All you have to do is slide back to your laptop. Hehe, <laughs> I forgot to remove this black duct tape. Just remove it and you can slide it easy. So we see that the LED light is on, which means we have power going to the bay. But I cannot see the SSD drive appear on my computer. What's wrong? However, in device manager, I can still see my Samsung A50 is recognized by my computer. Let me show you how to fix. First, you have to go to disk management. You will see this pop up. Just go ahead, click GPT and press OK. Choose the disk that is shown unknown and right click choose initialize. Your disk will go online. Again right click choose new single volume. Continue clicking next until you finished. Easy. Just a quick note. I did not take these pictures, I took them from the internet.
Now for the benchmark test, as the carry bay is connected to the SAT port, we can expect a very high speed from this SSD. I will use DXTory to benchmark because I will use this SSD for recording video. The D drive is an internal SSD used to record video that I put in an enclosure and connect to my USB 2.0 port so the speed isn't fast. Even though it's an SSD, but it's just a tested version that I got from SanDisk Lab, so it's re not really reliable. Now let's check out our Samsung EVO. Now I will benchmark the drive using Crystal Disk Mark. There you have it, that's our Caddy Bay for our Lenovo Y4 10P laptop. If you really need more capacity, I can suggest you buy a 7200 RPM hard drive or you can just buy an SSD if you plan to build a new PC, you can still pull it out and plug in your new computer. And I hope you enjoy my tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.